Hello friends, welcome back to another video. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at how to install PHP My Admin and uh, PHP uh, MySQL Server on your server. So let's get started. So if uh, for those who don't know what PHP My Admin is, it is a web interface to for you that you can use to interact with MySQL databases on your server and create different users for different databases and etc so let's get started so the first thing that you need to do is we need to install apache on our server so just to app update to update the list of repositories with the latest packages and after that we are going to install the apache 2 package and i have already installed it so let's see if our apache service is running so it is running and let's go to our ip in my case uh, the ip of my server is this so i am just going to copy this and open a new tab over here and as you can see over here uh, we see the basic apache 2 default config so that means our apache server is working so then the next thing that we need to do is we need to enable apache to run whenever our server starts so just enter this command after that we are going to install mariadb so just copy this and this uh, this uh, the instruction which just depends on the internet connection that you have so as this is a digital ocean vps server so the internet connectivity on the vps is pretty fast so it does not take a lot of time after that what we need to do is we need to uh, first stop the MariaDB service and after that we are going to enable uh, the service to start whenever our system boots up and then we just start the service and it is going to take a bit of time and I will be back once the service has started since we are waiting for our MariaDB service to start we are also going to configure our MySQL server just uh, run this command and now this is going to ask you to set up uh, your sql server so uh, the default user that will be used will be root so you just need to provide a root password <laughs> so as by default there is no password for root so just hit enter and now we are prompted with set a root password and just type y and hit enter and now type your new password and retype it and it is also going to uh, ask you to remove anonymous users so just do yes and why and after that we will do we need to disallow uh, remote login for root so hit y and yes and reload privilege table to yes and hit enter and now your our database has been configured so let's restart our uh, mariadb instance and hit enter and after that what we need to do over here is we need to log in to see if our mysql server is running And now enter the password and as you can see over here we are able to log into our uh, mysql server 
so what we need next is we need to is install php my admin and do some other configurations for our uh, SPL server so just go ahead and follow the steps log into your mysql server so just do mysql and enter your password and now we are going to run the following command just copy this and paste it over here and now after that we need to flush our privileges and exit once again log in your server enter your password and now we are going to create a new user so that we uh, as we already disallowed root user to connect remotely so we are going to create a separate user for that so just copy this command and open your text editor so you can change the username and password so over here i am going to change the username admin and i am also going to change this password something else so i will be back once the password has been set to run this command in mysql server and it will create a new user with uh, all privileges granted and now uh, we will use that user to log into our server so just I have already done that so I am not going to do it so now what we need is we need to install PHP and its modules that are required for us so just paste this command over here to add the repository and after that we will be able to install all the required packages once you have added the repository what you need to do is just run a app update so that new all the latest packages are loaded into your system and once that is done just copy this command and this will install all the required modules that are needed for uh, php my admin to work so as you can see over here i have already installed these and now what we need is we need to make some changes in the apache a php.ini file so just copy this command and paste it over here and scroll down all the way to bottom now this is going to follow all the dependencies and packages that are required by php myadm and let it finish the installation process and then we will be prompted with this screen where we need to configure our uh, P, uh, PHP uh, my admin database so we just do that and now what we need is we need to go to our server's IP and try to log in in our case this is the IP and dash PHP my admin and hit enter and this will load the interface for us to log in so just enter the your username and password in my case it was admin and the password and as you can see over here uh, we can now log into our php my admin server and if you have any uh, further questions do comment down below